hello friends welcome to my channel today in this video we are going to make an easy and fast hat I'm going to use a yarn of this color and a hook of 4.5 mm so we have to begin with slip knot now we have to do chain 60 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 these are 10 chains we have to do 50 more chains so complete doing 50 more chains and we will meet again when 60 chains would be completed when we have completed these 60 chains we have to skip the first chain into the next stitch this is the front loop and this is the back loop into the back loop insert the hook in yarn over pull through pull through two single crochet one into the next back loop insert the hook in pull through pull through two single crochet one into the next back loop single crochet one so we have to work into 45 stitches and we have to work into all the back loops of these stitches so complete doing 45 single crochet and we will meet again when these stitches would be completed when we have completed 45 single crochet into back loops of 45 stitches into the 46th stitch into the back loop insert the hook and pull through pull through two slip stitch chain one turn the work now this is the front loop and this is the back loop into the back loop we have to work single crochet into all the stitches across the row so complete doing single crochet into all these stitches and we will meet again when this row would be completed leave the chains like that we will keep on working into these stitches after the end of each row when we have completed 46 stitches we have to do chain one turn the work now into all the back loops we have to do single crochet one into all the 46 stitches so complete doing single crochet one into all the back loops of 46 stitches and we will meet again when we have completed doing 46 single crochet into all the back loops when we have completed this third row of single crochet and we completed doing 46 stitches on the top of 46 stitches of the previous row now on the top of the back loop of the next stitch single crochet one into the back loop of the next stitch slip stitch one chain one turn the work now we have to work on the top of 48 stitches across the row just keep it in mind that we have to work into all the back loops so complete doing 48 stitches in this row and we will meet again when this row would be completed when we have completed fourth row of 48 stitches we have to do chain one turn the work now into all the back loops of 48 stitches we have to do single crochet one so complete doing single crochet one into all the back loops of 48 stitches and we will meet again when this row would be completed when we have completed doing single crochet into all the back loops of 48 stitches we have to do single crochet one into the back loop of the next stitch and slip stitch one into the back loop of the next stitch chain one turn the work 
now we have to work on the back loop of 50 stitches across the row so complete doing 50 single crochet into all the back loops of all the stitches across the row and we will meet again when this row would be completed when we have completed sixth row we have to do chain one now turn the work into all the back loops of 50 stitches we have to do 50 single crochet so complete doing 50 single crochet into all the back loops of 50 stitches and we will meet again when this row would be completed when we have completed 50 single crochet into all the back loops of 50 stitches into the next chain of the first round insert the hook and pull through pull through two single crochet one into the back loop of the next stitch insert the hook and pull through pull through two slip stitch one chain one turn the work now we have to work into all the back loops of 52 stitches across the row this is the eighth row so complete doing 52 single crochet and we will meet again when this row would be completed when this eighth row is complete we have to do chain one now turn the work into all the back loops of 52 stitches we have to do 52 single crochet so complete the row by doing 52 single crochet into all the back loops and we will meet again when this row would be completed when we have completed 52 stitches we have to do single crochet one into the next stitch and slip stitch one into the next stitch chain one turn the work now again into all the back loops of all these stitches we have to do single crochet one so we have to do 54 single crochet into all the back loops of all the stitches across the row complete the row and we will meet again when this row would be completed when this row is complete we have to do chain one turn the work now we have to work into all the back loops of 56 stitches across the row so complete doing single crochet into all the back loops of all the stitches across the row and we will meet again when this row would be completed when we have completed this row of 56 double crochet we have to do single crochet one into the next chain and slip stitch one into the next stitch now there are 58 stitches chain one turn the work now we have to do 58 single crochet into all the back loops across the row follow the same pattern and complete the row we will meet again when this row of 58 single crochet would be completed when this row of 58 single crochet is complete we have to do chain one turn the work now we have to do 58 single crochet on the top of 58 stitches this is the 13th row so complete the row and we will meet again when this row would be completed when this row of 58 single crochet is complete we have to do single crochet one into the 59th stitch chain one turn the pattern now we have to do single crochet one into the back loops of all the stitches across the row so we have to complete 14 rows after the completion of 14 rows we have to repeat again the same pattern with 45 stitches so complete this row and keep on growing the pattern in the same way and we have to complete six sets of 14 rows to complete the hat so complete doing this and we will meet again when we have completed six sets of 
14 rows following the same pattern when we have completed six sets of 14 rows this is the first one second third fourth fifth and sixth so we completed six sets of 14 rows and now we are going to join these two ends together so for this we have to take the help of needle and now we are going to join these two ends together with simple stitches so join these two ends by simple stitches and we will meet again when these two ends would be joined when these two ends are joined we are going to work on the top of the hat so just do simple stitches and just close the mouth of this hat by doing this now this hat is complete this is the hat that we have completed this pattern is very easy and grows fast this is a unisex hat the stretch of the hat is very good so it can be fit to any size of the head as well thank you so much